Alright, I know I'm a little late to the party on this, but we're going to talk about it anyway, because I got some thoughts as it relates to Rick Moranis being sucker punched in NYC the other day. Before I get into all of that, guys, if you enjoy my daily content here on YouTube, I encourage you, you can help support and donate to the channel for as little as $5 a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes on Patreon, unlike YouTube, where you will not be notified for all the videos that I put out, whether or not you have the bell clicked or not. So when you get done watching me here, browse back and check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, again, I know I'm a couple days late to the party in this, but I wanted to talk about Rick Moranis because I've always enjoyed the guy and all of his work, of course, you know, you got Ghostbusters, you got Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, so many others as well. Well, he was sucker punched in his own hometown of NYC on Thursday morning at about 7.30 a.m. Broad daylight. Guy just comes up out of nowhere, just sucker punches him, takes off, and it, it, it's it's like nothing else ever happened. He just keeps going. Uh, Moranis is, is, is laying there. He's all hurt. He's knocked out. He doesn't know what's going on. Now, the police have not yet caught this guy. There's a reward going out there for him right now. Um, Moranis was not far away from his own his own house, his own place when, he, when this happened. Um, he's now in the hospital and it's said to have been suffering from head injuries, a back injury, and also a hip injury, his arm as well. Uh, so, he, you know, he's 67 years old now. So, um we're wishing him nothing but the best that he gets well soon. Uh, this is terrible. Now, let me just say this, because in this current day and age that we're living in, this current climate, people no longer need to have reason. A lot of people are asking, you know, why this happened? Why, why would someone do this to Rick Moranis? Like, he's not bothering anybody or whatever. People don't need a reason anymore. And, and that's the thing. When you relate to what the Bible says, how in the last days we were going to see violence escalating on, on levels that we've never before seen. It would be as it was in the days of Noah. In Noah's time, the earth was so full of evil. It was so full of violence. People didn't need a reason to do anything anymore. They just did it. And I like to compare that to now because I think that's what we're seeing in our society today. The fact that this individual just went up, sucker punches Moranis, and just keeps going. It wasn't like he kept on him, kept beating him down, tried to steal his wallet or something like that. No, he just kept on going. No necessarily didn't need a reason. Maybe he recognized it. Maybe he didn't. We don't even know. But he just kept on going. Maybe they, this guy could have literally been mad about something that happened earlier that morning or the night before. And just Rick Moranis happened to be the guy that he passed and he just knocks him out. Why? Because he feels like he can. And well, we know the way the police are there in New York, how they're pretty much handcuffed from being able to do anything. And he just goes on about his day. Because they don't need a reason anymore. This is the people that we now deal with in this world, where they just do whatever they want. They feel like they're going to have no consequences, no repercussions whatsoever. And it continues to spread. And you see this happening all around the country with the riots that are happening in all the different cities in Portland and Seattle, so many other areas across the country. That really shows you that we're in the last days, the time of the end, and that Christ is coming back soon. Now, we wish... Rick Moranis, nothing but the best in recovering from this and, and getting back out there again. We know that he's going to be involved in another uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movie that Disney's going to be putting together. Uh, that was confirmed back in February, so we're waiting to hear on the release of when that's going to come out. But he's pretty much been away from you know anything involving movies for a long time now uh, as he kind of stepped away back in the 90s to raise his kids as a single parent after he lost his wife to cancer. So again, all the best going out to Moranis. The fans, though, of him are furious about this. I mean, they're, they're saying they want to go out there and, and, and they want to do all this stuff to the guy that did this to him and making all sorts of threats. Um, you know, I think people need to kind of calm down a little bit when it comes to that. The whole rhetoric on social media, just everybody thinks they're going to go out there and, you know, end somebody. Um, I, I think that really needs to come to an end. But if you guys want to read through some of them, I'll put a link down below in the description. You can let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.